So I'm here with Professor Christoph Meinl, who is a computer scientist and currently the CEO and scientific director of the Haso Plattner Institute at the University of Potsdam. Uh, Professor Meinl, we're very happy to have you here today to talk about our about critical infrastructures as part of our global threat series. Thank you so much for being here. It's a pleasure. So my first question would be whether critical infrastructures have always been a political target, um, or if the Russian attack on Ukrainian infrastructures has raised our awareness of this, um, or, or is this a completely new phenomenon? So critical infrastructures are of importance and for a long time and are a political issue. But the Russian aggression against Ukraine has raised this topic uh, to our awareness. Uh, we see when we observe the aggression in Ukraine that the Russian tactic aims to destroy infrastructures. And so with one bomb against an uh, energy uh, plant, you can uh, realize a big damage for thousands, for ten thousands of people. For example, they do no more have light, uh, the heating is not working, communication systems are uh, failing. So the critical infrastructure in such a war situation are a tactical goal for uh, the uh, parties in the war. So also in a peaceful time, we need to take care and we need to secure our infrastructures. This is uh, the electrical uh, grid, this is the power grid, this is uh, water treatment, it is transportation systems, it is uh, particularly the digital infrastructure which are meanwhile important and interconnected with all these other uh, critical infrastructures. So it is a good uh, a time point in time to discuss this and to uh, give more attention to this really uh, very important topic to secure digital inf uh, critical infrastructures. Okay. And in your opinion, how can we better protect our critical infrastructures? Can we do this by, by preventing attacks in the first place or by bolstering up our infrastructures? I think we need both. Uh, the first is awareness. We have to realize as a whole society, not as uh, only for a, uh, for a small number of uh, political, political responsible people. No, all the people in the country need to be aware of this. Uh, preventing attacks, these are all measures that try to forecast what would be possible for an attacker to destroy uh, or to disturb a critical infrastructure. It's not only in a war situation, but also a terroristic attacks or other. They try to uh, create a big damage with a small effort, and if they point to critical infrastructures, and destroy them, they can uh, realize really a big damage. So we have to uh, think of all kinds uh, and all measures to prevent attacks, but we also have to develop our critical infrastructure to be resilient uh, more uh, in the situation that even if there are some damage, that it's very fast to recreate uh, the uh, digital infrastructure and to guarantee uh, the functionality. Uh, there are several measures, uh, for example, when we speak about the digital infrastructures, which are particularly important because, meanwhile, all infrastructures, new uh, take uh, digital measures, are interconnected by digital communication lines. And here it is very important, for example, to back up data so that in a case of uh, an attack, it is very easy to reconstruct the data, to get access to the data. It is very important to monitor such infrastructures, uh, particularly in the case of digital infrastructures. It is easy for attackers around of the world to try to get access to digital systems by means of a denial of service attack or other attacks and to create uh, over the uh, destroying or disturbing digital infrastructure, create a damage in society. And also when we see to the Russian war, there was 
uh, there or is every day a very strong attack vector against digital infrastructures, against digital services, which control and rule our society. So if this, uh, systems do not work correctly, we all feel it and can see it that things are no more working. Okay, and you, you mentioned digital infrastructures. Would, would you say that these are, are particularly the most vulnerable to political attacks? Uh, they are uh, most vulnerable because on the one side it's very easy to attack them. It's not necessary to be physically in contact with the infrastructure. You can, uh, uh, such uh, cyber attackers can do this over long distance. They can do this from places outside the legislative, outside the country. And they have many, many different ways to break in the infrastructure to let them to disturb their work there are a large cosmos of attacks which the IT specialists need to know to prevent to take prevention measures uh, in, in for uh, to secure the systems uh, against these attacks but also the monitoring is important because modern attacks against uh, cyber uh, infrastructures uh, use many different methods, combine them in a way that in the beginning it's not, uh, it's not uh, detected that there is an attack running. And so an, a permanent uh, monitoring of the work of the systems, of the uh, usage of the networks helps to realize that a system is under the deck and to take measures. Uh, Professor Meinl, thank you very much for being here.